hey Liam it seemed like y'all had a, a good grasp on this game early on really through the second quarter or so what do you think kind of shifted for y'all in offense um after having success on the first few drives yeah I mean uh you know that how, how we started the game was kind of what, what our game plan was to try to uh, control the tempo a little bit, um, you know, get the get the ground game going. Um, and, we, and we started out strong with that. But, um, you know, obviously we weren't able to execute um, after really much, too, too much after that. Um, you know, they started kind of bringing a little more pressures and whatnot, um, all stuff that we had ex kind of anticipated them doing. Um, but, you know, we just – we shouldn't execute um, when we had to. And it kind of stalled out there um, after those first couple drives. Hey, Liam, um, so much was made this week about how y'all were going to play. Was it going to be freer? Was it going to be looser? Was it going to be like last week? Do you feel like you all, you know, had a good week of practice and went into this, you know, um, with, with the with the chance to be successful and not, you know, carrying all that baggage? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I thought we had a, a good week of practice. Um, so, you know, obviously this is it's a little disappointing sitting here um, after how the game just went. But, uh, you know, I mean, regardless of – what you're alluding to with Coach Joe and whatnot, playing free. Um, you know, it wasn't really too different. I felt like so. I know it's on the defensive side, but just De Demone Clark finished with like 20 tackles and two and a half tackles for loss in a sack. Just what have you seen from him over the last two years of his progression as a, one of your teammates? Yeah, I mean, Demone's a hell of a player. Uh, I've known that since the first day I got here. Um, you know, he's a great leader for us. Um, you know, see him come out there and play with effort that he does. It has a performance he does. You know, it's just it's disappointing. Um, you know, coming into this game, we knew we were gonna have to score points. Um, you know, they're a good team. Um, unfortunately, we we weren't able to do that. So, um, you know, it's just it's it's disappointing. Um, you know, feel bad, but just gotta move on. Hey, Liam, uh, it's Glenn West here. Where uh, uh, were there was there anything that Ole Miss was doing on defense that was kind of just throwing you guys off there after those first two drives? I mean, just what do you think kind of went into some of the struggles there in the middle of the game? Yeah, I mean, um, like I kind of said earlier, um, they started to uh, blitz a little bit more. Um, you know, but it was all stuff that, that we kind of anticipated them doing. It was all looks that we had seen. Um, you know, we just – we didn't execute. You know, it felt like, um, you know, some kind of a recurring theme from earlier in the year. You know, it should, we were right there. Um, you just couldn't make the plays, though, so – uh, you know, I'll, I'll have to get go look at the film and, and, and kind of see what exactly went wrong and where. But, um, you know, we, we uh, they didn't really do much that we, we didn't expect them or we expected them to do um, kind of what they did. And we just we weren't able to execute. Liam, you guys have obviously had some ups and downs. Last week was was a great moment this week. Uh, disappointment. But how, how do you find your motivation for these last four games? You got an open date. You got four games to finish in November. How, how do you all find? that motivation to, to try to, to finish strong? Um, you know, it's, I don't, me personally, I don't really find a struggle with motivation, you know, um, you know, I'm, every day that I'm here, I'm going to work as hard as I can and do everything I can, um, you know, to try to do the best that I can. Um, you know, it's, it's something we as a team, like we've been working pretty much every day. It feels like uh, for this season dating back to, uh, you know, right after the Ole Miss game, the end of the season last year. So, you know, we put so much time and effort into this. Um, yeah, I don't see how there could be a lack of motivation and whatnot just because how much we've all invested. So, Hey, Liam, I'm sorry if you already answered this, but I just walked back in. The fourth down call, uh, Coach said, you know, felt like it was going to be a shootout and you needed some points. As a player, you know, in, in that situation, it's easy to make a decision in hindsight, but did, what are your thoughts on going for it there when you get close? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, we when I, when I saw we were going for it, I was fired up. You know, we knew that we needed, you know, coming to this game, we knew we were going to have to score points um, and, and be aggressive. So, you know, it, you know, it feels good to have the confidence of, of Coach O um, in our offense. Um, it, it just it just sucks to, to let it down. You know what I mean? And then after that, it, we just we just felt like it, it kind of stalled out a little bit after that. So 